Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm back with a video and this is going to be one of the coolest application that I came across using software defined radio. Uh, this is probably what what is it that we're trying to do in this video is trying to retrieve those information that your cellular phone uses to actually establish a phone call on a GSM network. Why I'm still sticking with GSM network because GSM network is still is one of the widest used cellular telephony around the world. So that's why I'm conducting this experiment using software defined radio on, on GSM network. Uh, for that, I'm using two things. First, your software tool that I'm using uh, that is included in, in a tool called uh, in Dragon OS Focal, uh, which is known as Mod Map Map mod map map uh, this is a tool that allows me to actually capture or retrieve some of the information about your uh, 2g network and your lte network so this is the readme file for it right here on this uh, terminal window so this allows me to actually get all of that information uh, that takes place uh, and what are some of the channels which are involved when you're trying to make a phone call on a gsm network or try to send an sms uh, you can still use this tool for LTE as well, but this video is going to focus on, on GSM. So just simply, I'm going to copy this command right here. You can use all type of SDR. It has all type of SDR support. For example, it's starting from RTL SDR dongle all the way up to USRPs. So I'm going to simply copy this command. This is there in mod map, uh, map folder. So if you just simply go into that, just ls it and go to that readme file so basically this is that readme file where i'm copying this uh, python uh, command to run this in dragon os focal just all the tools mod map map and all the tools are actually in user source library so you can go in and check that out as well so just simply go in and copy this and copy this command and remove RTLSDR dongle from it and just replace it with the uh, hack RF. So just copy this and simply go in here, uh, paste this clipboard. I'm gonna keep this thing running. So instead of RTLSDR dongle, since I'm not using RTLSDR dongle, I'm using hack RF. So I'm gonna replace this with hack RF. So this is what this command is saying. Run this mod map map.py file. Uh, it also uses a tool called GRGSM, which is actually scans uh, GSM network. And it scan what? It scan GSM 900 using what? Hack RF. So just I'm going to simply hit enter. And while it's scanning, uh, usually it takes uh, some time. So that's why I'm running this uh, first. And, and then I'll explain the output of this. So make sure you have your software defined radio peripheral, like for example, RTL SDR, Blade RF, USRP. Whatever it is, it should be connected while it's performing the scan. So let me just basically explain something real quick while this scan is running. When your first mobile phone initiates a phone call, your, your cell tower continuously broadcasts a signal. It just continuously broadcasting a signal, which is known as your ARFCN number. So basically it's scanning ARFCN number. Uh, I think it stands for automatic uh, radio frequency channel number or something like that. Yeah, automatic radio frequency channel number. What it does, it actually broadcasts this channel number. Uh, this is basically a set of frequency pair. So for example, for uplink, you're going to use this frequency allocated to you. And for downlink, you're going to use this. So downlink, when you're receiving something, uplink, when you're sending something to your base station tower. So this is what ARFC number is. So it's just going to be some number. So it's a scanning between 955 till 1023. And out of that, after scanning this, a particular ARFCN number gets allocated to you. So basically, it's sort of like a base station is telling you, you know what? This is the radio station you should tune into. So that's the first step that takes place. Then... Uh, let's wait for it to actually scan and give you that information so I can explain this uh, more. Uh, so let it scan first and once your uh, ARFCN get allocated or think of it like a frequency being getting, getting allocated, uh, this is what you will see the next. So we're going to wait 
uh, for it to actually does this. And, and so in order for you to get this ARFCN number, uh, what GSM actually does. All right, this is something you gotta understand. The basic thing when call establishing is being done and all of that is stuff, the core concept is exactly the same for your LTE network as well. So There's some slight change, but the core concept is actually coming in from GSM because this is probably the oldest and still being used around the world. So, so what it's trying to do is actually looking for that ARFCN number but using something called CCH, scanning CCH. What CCH is basically is to stand for common control channel. So this is like the first thing when you're trying to make a phone call, you know, think of it like a reception desk. Before you get a room, you go to a reception desk and you ask before you start. So the analogy is this, before you go get a room, you'll go to that reception desk. So this is the first thing that is being done. Uh, so you you get that you go to CCH, and before you start making a phone call or send an SMS, it will actually give you that. So so you go to that and you ask for that ARFCN number. Once ARFCN number is allocated, so think of it like a room number. Now you're ready. Once you get go to a reception, then you get a room number, and then you can start using some service. So think of it, ARFCN number being a room number, CCH being a a a reception so that's the first step so now here we go we got some data let me explain this while exp uh, explaining something else now some things are being allocated so ARFCN number zero you get a frequency of 935 megahertz it gives you a few information as well so you can see this right here let me explain this and the rest of the information is going to be the same so let's go here so you got First, you got ARFCN number. Let's say we start with this. So you get an ARFCN number 10, room number 10. What is the frequency of that particular ARFCN number? So ARFCN number is actually basically uplink and downlink frequency, which is being allocated. So 937 megahertz for downlink because we are in a receiving mode right now. We're not transmitting anything. So ARFCN number is, and what is that cell ID? So CID stands for your cell ID. Cell ID is the ID of your cell. That's what it is. And then you get LAC. What the hell is LAC? LAC basically is actually a location area code for your cell. So the location area code for, for the cell, the information that I'm getting is about 10406. MCC is actually your mobile country code where this mobile service is being operated. So whatever that country is, every country will have a different code. MNC stands for what is the network operator. So for example, MNC for Verizon, for AT&T, for, for Sprint, for Singular and all of that. So MNC basically the information related to the network service provider, cellular service provider, while MCC is actually your country code. LAC is the location area code. So think of it like a postal area number. Um, and cell ID, this is your cell ID. There are websites where you can go in and you can actually track that cell ID and which cell ID you're located at. So these are some of the very, very critical information. Now, the next thing, so this is once it's being allocated, what are some of the information that you're seeing right now? Uh, so for example, let's look at HDCCH. What the hell is HDCCH? So this is... Um, before your call is being established, this is the channel which gets allocated. This is actually stands for a standalone dedicated control channel. So, so think of it like a private control channel uh, that allows your phone, uh, th that is being allocated after your first initial hand handshake. So for example, before you enter into your room, there is this information which is there. This is sort of like a private booth or this is sort of, uh, so think of it like this. So we had an analogy of CCH as being going to a reception before you get uh, your keychain, before you get the room key, you get to fill out some forms. So think of it as DCCH is like a form. Uh, it's like a form that you're filling where you're giving your name. Uh, so in, in cellular telephony is basically like authentication. 
is that actually you that you're supposed to make a phone call your location is, is uh, update your call setup information and things like that and hdcch is basically eight now if you remember it from from gsm eight every channel is being shift uh, every channel is being allocated eight time slots and out of those eight time slot in this first one you're getting a time slot information of one training sequence is five training sequence when you look at the burst structure of your gsm you get a training sequence of five um and then all right what is the encryption version that you're using so if you guys remember it if you guys remember it there are three different versions so a5 version 1 a5 slash 2 a5 slash 3 these are different uh different uh, uh encryption standards which are being operated now if you go and what are some of the powers so nine negative 37 dbm that's a very strong power that you're getting and what are some of the neighboring cells that have id associated with one two three four and so on so in this way, this is how you actually decipher this information that is being given or that is being assigned or that is being broadcast by your cell tower continuously. So as you can see this, so I'm still at that particular frequency that uh, GSM 900 and 937.4 megahertz. Now look at the allocation between ARFCN numbers. So you had 937 uh arcn number 10 that is 937 megahertz and then i didn't get arcn number if you were to guess based on a little bit of information if you know of gsm arcn number 12 is 937.4 what would be the arcn number 11 what would be that frequency that would be 937.2 why because every channel is 200 kilohertz that's why so every single channel that is being allocated will have eight time slots and each of these time slots are being offered like one four five two and once you get offered a particular time slot let's say in this case if i decided to get this particular time slot you will continuously get this time slot till the duration of that phone call so this is something really really cool uh, an amazing tool that is available in dragon os focal uh, if you have any questions, just leave it in a comment section. I just wanted to share it with you guys, and that's the practical implementation of this. If you have any questions, leave it in a comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.